गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग Now let's see, we want to ver quién es más se conectan. We are only three here, only you two. That are missing just seconds for studying the class. Okay, we are going to start now. It is our lesson number five in which we are going to have like a general review, right? And practice. Let me see, because with this we finish um, lesson number one, right? Let me check, okay? So this is what we are going to have for today's class. We have review and practice from the first unit that we have studied. And for this general review and for this practice, the first practice that we are going to have is this. We are going to list 10 past participle verbs. Okay? Now, but I'm going to list them with your help. I'm gonna do it with your help. Now, let's see. Can you tell me 10 verbs in past participle tense, please? Tell me any verb that you remember that it is in past participle. Aha, we we have problems with this, right? Okay. Which are the past participle verbs? Do you remember that when we are uh, studying the verbs, we have three different ways? of the verbs. Do you remember that? Yes. For example, I'm going to tell you, okay? I have the verb write, the past tense of write is, is? Wrote. Wrote. And the past participle of wrote is? Written. Yeah. So we have three different forms of one verb. I have write, wrote, 
and written. The third one, it is the past participle form. Okay, this one. That's why we need to look in this moment. Please search in the web and tell me the past participle of different verbs. But teacher, but yes. the past participle, but you in the bear is e e d. Not always. No. But tell always. me, which one do you want to 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 list? Uh, the bear to be infinitive post participle is uh -huh. being okay being okay that is the first one okay. we need we need 10 this is the first one come come down This one? Yeah. Okay. Eating? Hmm? Made? Mm -hmm. Sing? Mm -hmm. Taken? Uh -huh. Teacher, aquí yeah. está writing, pero con doble T. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, double T. Yes, it is double T. Okay. It is. Oops, perdí el hilo. Okay. Written, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, Saved. Saved like this? No, saved. Uh, the verb say. Ask, okay. Said. Uh huh. Um, gone. Okay. This, right? Okay. Okay? Yeah. So I have here 10 verbs in past participle. Mm -hmm. But what happened with mm -hmm. uh, what Wilfredo said? Yes. Wilfredo said that the verbs ends in ed. That's what you said, right? It is yes. in past. That's what you said, right, Wilfredo? But I don't know, teacher. So, so, so. Okay, excuse me. Okay. What happens is that in English we have two types of quite of of verbs. There are some verbs that are called regular. 
And there are some other verbs that are called irregular. Two types of verbs, regular and irregulars. Todos estos que me dijo Elsa. ¿A cuál de estas categorías do you think they belong to? Irregular. They are irregular. All of them are irregular and they are the past participle of the verbs. Now, which are the regular? Why red? No. When when we add only D or E D? Mm -hmm. The regular ones son todos los que dice Wilfred. Todos los que terminan en E D. Pero a este yo no le puedo poner E D y no puedo decir write it. ¿Por qué? No, porque es irregular. Because it is irregular. So, I cannot say that. I cannot write it in that way. Quiere decir que los irregulars o me los aprendo o me los aprendo. I have no choice. I have no choice. En cambio, the irregular verbs... I can, they are easier because all of them are going to be in ED. All of them. For example, tell me verbs, past participle, regular verbs. Tell me. Mm. Cook. Okay. Irregular. Regular. Slept. That is irregular. Mm, it's irregular. Mm. Sleep is irregular. Watch. Okay. Clean. Can you repeat? Clean. Select. Que sería selected. Keep. Keep is irregular. Learn. Learn. De hecho, este puede ser uh, de las dos formas, pero podríamos ponerlo como así. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, study. Mm -hmm. One, one. We love it. Resisted. Pointed. Okay. So I have in this moment two different lists. I have 20 verbs, but I have 10 regulars and 10 irregulars. But all of them are in past participle uh, tense uh, way. For example, form. How, how am I going to know that this is past participle in a simple past? How? 
how am I going to know that this is past participle and not simple past? All the verb irregular. No. <coughs> ¿Cómo identifican Repite. ustedes que es past participle y que no es pasado simple? Mm. En el caso, en el caso de los irregular, por su pronunciación es totalmente diferente. Y su forma, ok. Yeah. Esos son easy, but yeah. irregular ones. Yeah. Debe, de, debe de ser el contexto. El contexto de la, de la statement. It has to be related to the context, okay? Yes, y el you, need, you need to check the surrounding aspects of the word, right? For example, the past participle can be in a sentence such as. I had a, okay. My. I have house. painted my house. Paint. Yeah. I have two different sentences. They are not the same. But the verb, it is painted and painted. Una es past participle. Yes. Y la otra es past simple. Yes, the auxiliary. Which is the participle? First. First. The first one. Because, because the auxiliary have. Because of the auxiliary have. I say, I have painted my house. Okay, this is past participle. And in here? Simple past. Simple past, I painted my house. El verbo está idéntico. Yes. Pero quien lo acompaña de surrounding words es la que le va a dar el significado a painted. Because okay. in the first one, I'm going to say, vean cómo lo voy a trabajar. If I am going to use this in Spanish, yo aquí voy a decir, yo he pintado mi casa. But in the second one, no voy a decir pintado. In the second one, I'm going to say. Pinté my house. Pinté my, my house. house. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué in the first one digo pintado and in the second one digo pinté? Si es exactamente lo mismo, lo escribo igual. Because in the first one, I have the auxiliary. And then I say, yo he, y después de he, ese auxiliar he, yo no puedo decir pinté. Yo he pinté. No, right? So I need to conjugate the verb in the appropriate way. Y si voy a incluir the auxiliary have, I need to say it in another way. No, as if I am talking in past simple. Right? Right? Now, why is it important for us to know the past participles of the verbs? Why is it important? Because we need them 
at any moment. And uh, do you remember one topic that we studied that we used the past participle during the last week? What was that topic? Passive voice. Passive voice, okay? Thank you. Passive voice. And that is why it is really important for me, you to understand what is the past participle of the verbs. I'm going to emphasize in this because in the first class that we have, I know that you understood, but we're going to emphasize just a little bit more for you not to be confused, right? The first thing, that I want to emphasize for today's class is <clears throat> if we are going to talk about passive voice, we need to understand that we have active voice. If we have passive voice, we have hello? If I have a passive voice, it means that I have An active voice. <clears throat> but how am I going to work with that? What is an active voice and what is a passive voice? Is this? For example, it says, active voice tell us what a person or thing Thus, for example, I have the subject, the verb, y en quien recae la acción del verbo. And it is in the object. Examples. Ana pays a lot of money. Carmen painted the old houses. If my structure of the sentence is like this, en donde está subject, verb, and object, estoy ante una active voice. Active voice right what is the structure that I need to follow what is the structure that I need to follow subject plus verb plus object okay Active. active and from the active voy a sacar the passive but there is one difference between the active and the passive voice what is the difference do you remember the bear the in past mm, no es que este es <laughs> Change, change the instruction, but I need to bear pass. Okay, okay, we are going to see. Not all the time, not all the time I need the verb in past. Es que I... verdad que hay, perdón, verdad que hay active voice en diferentes tiempos verbales, verdad? Está en continuo, creo también. Active voice puede ser en todos los tiempos y también mm -hmm. la passive voice. It's, it's different de la yeah. vez pasada, ¿verdad? I'm, no, this is the same, mm -hmm. but I am emphasizing mm -hmm. in the two tenses because okay. check this out. So the, I'm saying the, Ana. Ana. Yes. 
face. Our face. This is, this is in present, right? Yes. Anna pays a lot of money. A lot of money. But what about the second example? Carmen? Painting. Painting. Painted. So, ¿qué tiempo es esta? Present. Okay, that is present. And the second one? Past. Ah, okay. No, it is not past participle. This is past. 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 Simple. Past. 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 Simple. Past. No, no puede ser participle porque yes. el participle tiene que tener the auxiliary. Past. Have yes. or has, has. Okay? okay? Have or has, okay? Yeah, okay? So, como no lo tiene, that is simple past. And then I say, Carmen painted the old houses. Y también puede te estar en presente. Ana pays a lot of money. Ahora bien, both sentences, las dos las puedo transformar a voz pasiva, manteniendo el tiempo. One in present and the other one in past. How come? How come? Siguiendo la estructura que me dice passive voice. Passive voice. La passive voice me dice, oiga. Para trabajar la passive voice, usted necesita to identify the object. En ese object va a moverse del lugar. In the object, it is going to take place of the subject. Por eso, por eso es que el object me aparece aquí al inicio. Porque ya lo moví. Lo moví de donde estaba y lo voy a mover al inicio. Ese es el primer paso para transformar the active voice a passive voice. So I'm going to move the object to the first place. Then I'm going to need an auxiliary. ¿Cuál será ese auxiliary para el passive voice? Verb to be. To be. The verb to be. Okay. The verb to be. And también yeah. el verbo. Verbo. But, ahora este verbo tiene que estar en una forma específica. Mm -hmm. ¿En qué forma? Este verbo tiene que estar imparcial. Todos los que ya vimos mm. anteriormente en ese listado que me dijeron participle. It, they can be regular or they can be irregular. De cualquiera de ellos voy a agarrar uno. Right? It depends of the statement, the sentence that I'm going to choose that participle verb. And then I'm going to include El subject que estaba al inicio lo voy a mandar al final. But it is between parentheses because I can include it or sometimes I don't include it. When it is not relevant, I don't include it. Right? That's why it is between parentheses. Okay? Ahora que ya entendimos eso, vamos a ver. 
vamos a sustituir the grammar structure with the different words. ¿Qué dijo la regla del, del que íbamos a hacer de la oración del active? ¿Qué íbamos a hacer para pasarla a passive voice? What is the first aspect? Object. Ok, to identify the object. Ok, good. Vamos a hacer Ana. En la oración de Ana, what is the object? A Colors. lot of money. Ok, se los he coloreado del mismo para que lo logremos identificar. So, a lot of money is the object. ¿Hacia dónde voy a mover a lot of money? Hacia adelante de la oración. And that is the first thing. Entonces, a lot of money pasa a ser, a utilizar el espacio del subject. And now I'm going to say, a lot of money, y después me dice que tengo que ocupar el verb to be. But, me tengo que fijar en qué tiempo está la oración. What tense is that? Este, ¿en qué tiempo está? Presente simple. Ok, that is present. Entonces, el verbo to be tendrá que estar in? Present. Present. To be in present. ¿Por qué? Because here the verb is in present. So, voy a decir, a lot of money is. En after that, la fórmula me dice que tengo que tener el verbo en past participle. Entonces, what is the past participle of the verb pay? Paid. Ok. Y después me dice la fórmula que puedo incluir el sujeto al final acompañado de la palabra by. So, my passive voice results like, a lot of money is paid by Anna. Y ya tengo mi passive voice. Did you understand the movements that I did? Yes. Okay. Ahora, we are going to do exactly the same thing pero con la segunda oración. And in the second sentence, me dice, ok, tengo the active voice aquí. Está Carmen, that is the subject, painted, that is the verb, and the old houses, that is the object. Ahora lo voy a pasar al inicio. Ah, pero no escribí la palabra old, ok. The old house, la puse en singular and it was in plural. Okay, that's okay. The old house, como la estoy manejando como singular, ¿cómo voy a utilizar the verb to be? In singular. But, ¿por qué he puesto was y no puse is como la anterior? To be. Because. Porque el verbo está en pasado. ¿En dónde? Active no. voice. Ajá. En la active voice, aquí. El active voice me dice, ¿ok? Tu passive voice la vas a hacer. En, pas en pasado. Or in present. But in this moment, me está diciendo, ¿ok? Now you're going to do it in past. Entonces... My verb to be is going to be in past. Pero el verbo siempre va a tener que ir in past participle. Aquí es pasado simple y aquí es pasado past participle. Visualmente, it is the same. Pero para una traducción, ya no es el mismo. Se conjugan diferente. Right? 
aunque visualmente they are exactly the same. But they are not. Es lo que decía su compañero. ¿Cuándo vamos a entender que ese es un past participle? The surrounding words. Si mi verbo que es regular está acompañado del verbo to be, I need to understand que eso no es un past simple. I need to understand that that is a participle. Right? Do you understand that? Yes. Yes, okay. Ok, ya lo vimos así despacito. Y ahora veamos. ¿De dónde vamos va a depender la passive voice? De la active voice. De la active voice. Entonces, let us go. Y vamos a tener como resultado esta. La active voice. Puede, as I said, estar en presente y en cualquier tiempo. Que usted decida escribir. Las herramientas, las claves, siempre las va a dar the active voice. But I want you to pay attention that here I have active, it is active voice. Pero ahora todos los ejercicios that we have here, they are in present. All of them, they are in present. For example, many people read these writer's articles. Jack milks the cows every morning. Kids love toys. Everyone follows Everyone. the rules. Todas las actives están in present. Entonces, tengo que comprender que my passive present, my passive voice in present, ¿a dónde se va a notar que está in present? My passive voice. Verbo to be. That's it. The verb to be is going to tell me, oiga, es passive voice, pero está en presente. ¿Y es posible eso? Of course. Aquí está, ¿ve? Este es my passive. Este es my passive, but in present. La fórmula decía, the object, pasa al inicio. Aquí lo tengo. Then it says that I need to add the verb to be en el tiempo que tengo en la oración. Ah, ok. Aquí está, the verb to be in present. ¿Por qué tengo are y no is? Because, because we is, we we speak the articles. Okay, that's it. Because it is in plural, right? It is articles. It is not only one. It is plural. That's why uh, my verb uh, to be is are. Y después del verbo to be, ¿qué tiene que venir? Verb. ¿En qué forma? 
partes. Participle. Participle. Y después, ¿qué viene? By many by, people. By many people. In the passive voice, esa palabra después del by se le conoce como agent. O también se le conoce como doer. Es la persona que hace lo que mencionó usted anteriormente. So we call them agent or doer. Si hay un by, después de este by, esa va a ser la persona que ha hecho eso. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo se le llama? Agent. Or do it. Do it. And like that, we follow just the structure in all the exercises are exactly the same. Okay, I have here the cows are the object, so they are the first to be past participle. And I have the agent. Jack. Next one. Toys. It is the object. Okay. Lo muevo al inicio. Aquí lo tengo. Now I have the verb to be in present because, and I'm using are because it is in plural. Then I have the past participle of the verb and I have the doer. In the last one. In the last one, we have the same thing, I identify the object, I moved it to the first place, and then I have the verb to be, I have the past participle, and I have the doer. It is between parentheses because just if you want, you add it or you do not include it, right? <clears throat> But all these exercises are active voice in present and passive voice in present. Yes? Questions. No questions? Only one. Uh -huh. In Spanish, um... Eh, al final, eh, para todos los tiempos verbales, va a ir la passive em, en participio. Para las passive voice, yes. Para las always. passive, yes. Passive, ok. Always, always. Las passive, always the past participle. ¿Por qué? Ok. Porque la fórmula me dice eso. Pero no se los puse aquí. But you need to understand that this is the participle. The verb in the participle way. All the time. All the time. Right? Okay. Now. Yo solo he hecho ejemplos de dos tiempos. Aunque in the book we have only one tense. I did two examples. This is the tense that the book has. That is present passive voice. I have active or passive, but in present. But I just wanted to show you that we have passive voice in past. I have active past and I have passive past. All the previous, all the previous examples, I just wrote them in past. For example, many people read this writer's articles. Jack milked the cows yesterday. Y cambié esto, vea. Para las que tienen 
expressions of time, se las cambié al tiempo apropiado. Because if I am speaking in present, in present, tiene sentido decir every morning. But in past, I'm not going to say Jack mill the cows every, every morning. Well, it has sense. But if my context, it is in past. So, I better try to use all the expressions that are telling me that it is a past activity. Right? And then I have another one. Aquí le cambié para no dejarle como the girl or she. I used the proper name. And then I say Jenny loved, that is simple past, that doll. I didn't use toys in a general way. I mentioned an, a specific one. For example, that Jenny loved that doll. And the last one, that everyone followed the rules. Past, 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 past. All of them are in past. Pero es una voz activa en pasado. Active voice in past. Give me a second. So, if this is past, ¿cuál va a ser mi passive voice? In past. ¿A dónde se va a reflejar ese past in the passive voice? To be. In the to be. Where to be. Yeah. Where. Where. Was. And where. And after that, the participle. Milked, loved, followed. And here, read. Did I include the agent? Yes, I said, by many people, by Jack, by Jenny, by everyone. There will be some moments in which we are not going to include it. The agent. Right? But in this ones we have include the age, the agent. Now, do you see the difference between the present passive voice and the past passive voice? Yes. Yes. Now it is clear, right? Here. It Okay, now I have I have explained. Now is the moment for you to start working with this. But before I just set the alarm because I wanted to have the attendance in the right moment, okay? So we are going to have the attendance in this moment. That is the first time. Okay, let's see. Okay, you know what to do. Alfredo Rigoberto Alcantana? Encienden sus camaritas, chicos. Okay. Alma Brenda Lee, Nieto Elías. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández.
Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present teacher. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elisette Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kevin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present, teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present teacher. Y Wilmer Present. Alexander Mendoza. Present teacher. Ok. Ok. Solamente voy a tocar un puntito, chicos. Porque ahora varios escribieron allí en el chat que no iban a poder ingresar a clase. Y que me, eh, de alguna forma, me piden el permiso respectivo. Y yo no puedo brindar permisos, corazones, porque en realidad esa figura no existe en este tipo de cursos. Y necesito que comprendan el por qué de eso, de la dinámica. No es porque yo quiera decir que inhumana. No, no, por mí no hay ningún problema. Si usted me dice, mire, no voy a poder estar acá. Mire, teacher, este, yo voy a, a estar solo de oyente. Por mí no hay problema. Pero cuando me dice, mire, no voy a estar en clase, el problema va directamente hacia usted. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué cree usted eso? Por la asistencia. Por la conexión. Es que este tipo de cursos... Porque no vamos a cumplir con el requisito del 80%. Así es. Ese tipo de cursos es, o usted cumple con la asistencia, o usted cumple con la asistencia. ¿Por qué? Usted va a sacar 10 en todas las evaluaciones escritas, en todos los ejercicios que le tiene la plataforma. Usted se va a sacar 10. Pero si en la asistencia, y eso no lo hago yo, eso lo hace Zoom autom automáticamente. Yo solo le estoy brindando a Zoom, corroborando que usted en realidad está ahí. Por eso paso lista. Por eso le digo, abra la cámara. Porque yo le estoy corroborando a Zoom que usted está ahí presente. Pero el sistema de Zoom saca su asistencia minuto a minuto. Ahora bien, el resultado final de su asistencia va a ser el de 70%. ¿Qué va a suceder con el curso? ¿Qué creen ustedes? Si usted solo logra el 70% de asistencia. Reprobado. Reprobado. Aunque usted tenga 10 en toda la plataforma. 
y también lo opuesto. Que usted asista, pero usted no hace todas las tareas, usted no va a hacer los exámenes de las plataformas, pero no ha faltado ningún día. Entonces, la asistencia la va a tener muy bien, pero no así todas las actividades que tiene que responder. Entonces, ojo con esto, chicos. No se confíen en cuanto a las asistencias. ¿Ok? No es cuestión de el hecho de pedir permiso o no. Y si usted ya me dio permiso, pues entonces, ¿por qué voy a tener problemas? Porque yo le puedo decir que sí, pero Zoom le va a, a, a quitar los minutos que no se conectó. Entonces, yo solamente voy a pasar el reporte de todo de lo que son las evaluaciones. Pero de asistencia, ahí no meto yo mi mano. ¿Verdad? Entonces, por eso es que a cada uno después les dicen, mire, usted pas sí pasó, usted no pasó. Aunque iban similares, pero hubo algo diferente y tuvo que ser con probablemente su asistencia. O de repente solo nos conectamos por 15 minutos y me contestan cuando estamos en la lista, pero de ahí se vuelve a desconectar y se vuelve a conectar hasta el final. También va a tener problemas. ¿Por qué? Porque no va a estar toda la jornada completa conectado. ¿Verdad? Entonces, tenga eso, esos detalles en cuenta para que no por algo que no en realidad no se puede solventar, nos vaya a aparecer reprobado el curso. ¿Ok? Take it into account, please. Ok, so we are going to continue. I was um, with my presentation. Let me see. Okay. Do you have questions? No? Okay. Case, case, case. So, if you don't have questions, Vamos a ir a hacer this one. This is the one that we are going to work with. I have here some exercises that are actives. Todas las que están aquí son actives. There are some that are in past. There are some that are in present. Ahora, El resultado va a ser en la pasiva. How are you going to write down the passive in past or in present? It depends from the active. Pero como aquí tienen todas las actives, de acá dependerá cómo escriban ustedes esa. Entonces, you are going to work with different uh, teams now. And you are going to complete this on your notebooks. Ahí en su cuaderno. Llenan estos ejercicios, ¿ok? You need to have like a screenshot to this one and then you are going to answer it in your notebooks. Is that clear? Yes? Do you understand what you're doing? Yes? No? Yes. Yes, okay. yes teacher. Okay, so we're going yes, to have teacher. we are going to have some times from I think around five minutes for you to complete these exercises. Siempre analicen, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo es que se hace? Y sugerencia, abran sus cámaras ahora que van con sus um, equipos a trabajar. Ok, ok, let us go and work.
You ask for help. Teacher, no entendimos qué vamos a hacer. Hacer la voz pasiva de todos los ejercicios. Gracias. Thank okay. you. Ah, pues entonces empecemos con la primera. Okay, chicos, what you have to do with the exercises is that you have to uh, write passive voice sentences. Lo que tienen, lo que copiaron, son las active voice. So you need to write down the passive ones. No, lo siento, lo siento, mami. No era hablando de mi mami. Lo siento. Ay, qué enganchó. Vaya, entonces sería the, 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 mo, the movie. The, the movie. Es, es que no sé si en qué, en qué, en qué verbo, en qué. ¿En qué tiempo está el verbo? El pasado. Sí, es pasado. Sí, porque es el, el, es el que se escribe C-R-I. No, ¿verdad? No. ¿Es el do? No. Ajá, did, did not like. Like es el verbo. Ah. Sí, like es un verbo. Ajá, eh, pero eh, el to be, algo así creo.
¿Ya terminaron por acá? Lucía, Osvaldo, en Wilmer. No, todavía no. ¿Pero por qué están trabajando individual? Mm, no todas. Es que es en equipo, por eso los he mandado a trabajar en equipo, no individual. Es entre todos que la van a hacer. ¿Ok? Ok. Chicos, estoy entrando a las salas y están trabajando individual y en silencio. Ese no es el objetivo de mandarlos a trabajar en sus equipos. The idea is that you need to help each other. Entre todos resuelven cada uno de los ejercicios y no hay otra manera más que hacerlo de manera verbal. ¿Ok? Ya entré a dos equipos y están en total silencio. Not like. Critic, no, pero es que es critics. Critic. Es que sí. serían críticas, ¿verdad? La película. Pero el participio de ese verbo, porque yo creo que ahí sería the movie was el participio del verbo did not like by Manny. O sea, no le gustó a Manny. Pero no sé si esto también cambiaría porque este did. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Quién, es, ¿Quién es qué en la activa? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Manny. Pues puede ser mucho o puede ser Manny. <ríe> no, Manny no es el sujeto. The movie. Ajá, the, uh -huh, the movie. No, the movie sí. es el objeto. Eh... Ajá. Los críticos, a uh, muchos críticos. Mm -hmm. Ok, that is the subject. Entonces sería was, uy, perdón. The movie was... No like. No like. By many... ¿Cómo es esa negativa was no like? Yo... Ah, no, creo que ese sería wasn't. Ah, no. ok. Was not. Uh -huh. The movie was not liked by many, y aquí sería críticos. Críticos. Pero oh. el like, no sé si cambia el participio. Like it. Ah, ok. Porque críticos, eh, estamos hablando de muchos. Muchos críticos. Uh -huh. 
No sé si, Energía. si lo tengo. Ah, bueno, sí, porque ahí diría la película no le gustó a muchos. A mucha Críticos. crítica. Ajá. Bueno, bueno, dejémoslo así. Si sí está mala, pues. Aceptamos el error. <risa> Ok, de ahí la siguiente, el objeto, ¿cuál sería? The Washers. Washers. Cara, pero también es el carácter de Arlene in the music. Es el carácter. Play sería el verbo y Frida Frame play. sería el sujeto. Frida Bird made the In the music, musical, mm -hmm. the watchers. This action feels this Y se ven confusa, ¿verdad? La seis, sí. La gente conoce a Bruce Willis por sus películas de acción. Películas de acción. Películas. O sea, la seis sería 
No, el, el verbo. Now, now, el verbo. Creo que se le agrega una es N. Ver. Completed. Now, now, now. En el verbo es completed. No, no en la eh. cinco. No, but en la, en la que estaba viendo de movie complete, Ajá. el past participle es complete. Con D al final. Eh. Ajá, E D. Bueno. Ahí es. Se traduce como terminada. La película no fue terminada a tiempo. Por, por nosotros a tiempo. Ajá, por nosotros a tiempo. Uh -huh. Vaya, ok. Vamos con la 6. Sería Bruce Willis. Enfermo. Y sí. Pobrecito. Bruce Vaya. Willis. Or... Uh, uh, no, 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 quizás sería. Jones. La, la gente conoce a Bruce Willis por sus. Las, filmes de la, acción por los filmes de acción sí mm. y le vamos a poner no what ever es conocer es no what ever no. le ponemos de, 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 de action films de Bruce Willis dice no what people no la gente sería el subject de 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 such it is people now uh -huh. people, people uh -huh. now who's willing for the action films entonces tendríamos eso que eso sería el logic ajá uh -huh. de Bruce Willis sería por no Bruce sería Bruce Willis for his actions films ajá no, yo creo que solo así como cortamos la otra como Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis is no mm -hmm. It's no it. No, es, solo se le agrega la N. Ah, es no. Ya, yeah, ok. Ajá. No. A ver, me vuelvo en español. Si me The, for his action films, Bruce Willis. The action film was now by Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is now by people.
Okay, guys, be ready because we're coming back. I think that most of you, uh, we're working now on page, on the exercise number six. I was checking. So we're, you are missing only one, right? So be ready, please, that you have only one more minute. Okay, were the, the exercises difficult? So, 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 so. A little bit. Because <laughs> a little. It's For the group, it's difficult. very easy, teacher. It's confused. <laughs> <laughs> it is confused. But when you are working in teams, it is better, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it is better when you work in teams because but it means reforce the 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 auxiliary. Yeah, that for, is the first thing that we need to yes. that is the first thing that we need to check. And that's why now yes, yes, yes. we are going to answer them here together. I need the now, review. Yes. Yeah, that's why we are here with this topic again. Now let's see. Number one, the first thing that we need to do is the movie. The movie. It was made in 1998. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ustedes corren. Wait. Step by step. Step by step. The first thing that we need to do in an active sentence is identify the verb y ver el tiempo de la oración. What is the verb in the sentence? Made. Okay. And made, it is in present or in past? Present. 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 
past. Present or past? Past. Past. It is past. Por lo tanto, la voz pasiva va a estar en? Pasado. En past también. <clears throat> okay. That is the first step. Now, identificamos la estructura. Identificamos subject. Subject. Verb. Someone. Ya tenemos aquí el subject. Tenemos el verb. Okay. What is the object? The movie. Nagi, nagi. Okay, the movie. The movie. Y esa N está de más ahí. ¿ve? The movie. Yeah. Okay. The movie. Y luego esa es una time expression. Ok. ¿Con qué va a comenzar the passive voice? The movie. Ok, the movie, because that is the object. Y pasa okay. al primer lugar. Entonces, my uh, passive voice comenzará con the movie. Verb to be. The verb to be. ¿En qué tiempo? Was. Past. Okay, in past. The movie was made. Made. Oh. Was made. Nineteen ninety. No one. No. No made. It is irregular. It's an irregular verb. That is yes. irregular. And what is the past participle of may? Make. Make. Hmm? It's regular, okay. verb. Ah, it's regular. No, it is not regular. <laughs> los <laughs> regulars, regular. acuérdense que los regulars terminan en no, it. Yeah. Entonces, It's si your... ya... Ajá. The verb in past participle is the same. Yeah. Made. I don't know. Made. You are telling me. I know, teacher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, it says was made. 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 Y luego la time expression. The movie? By so well. Uh, by Sodwan in 1998. <laughs> normalmente, someone. normalmente, cuando tenemos los sujetos como someone, they are not important. Entonces, no los escribimos. El agent, no lo escribimos. Porque lo importante es cuando fue hecha la movie, no quién la hizo. Right? So, the movie was made in in by someone, pero no es relevante, entonces lo, lo quito. Okay? No. Okay. Es, When we have when we have proper names, cuando el sujeto es un proper name, ahí, ojo, que mejor lo dejamos, right? Como el doer. Okay, now we have the first one. Now we have the second exercise. ¿Cuál es el primer paso? Identificar el objeto. Tiempo. Tiempo de... Ok. Uh -huh. So, ¿cuál es el verbo y en qué tiempo está? Brought. Ok, so we have brought. And what is the tense for what? Base. Uh, no, past participle, it is not. This is past simple. Rot is past. Uh, okay, now I have identified the verb. It is in past. So my verb to be será in past. Okay, ahora voy. 
zapato. Y comienzo con el objeto. What is the object? The soundtrack. The soundtrack. Teacher. The soundtrack. Yes. Who said teacher? I'm sorry, teacher, but no understand when they, they explain the the someone the, the subject. But is in the sentence the past boy no 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 put the subject. Porque someone it is not important. Why? Someone. Porque es someone. Oh, yes. Es un desconocido. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Las active voice le va a decir que el, el doer, el object, va a ser importante que la incluya en la oración cuando tiene proper names. Ok. Thank Pero you. si es, for example, people, someone, <gasps> the And agent, it is not important. Okay. It's consulta. Okay. Yo tengo una consulta, pero se la voy a hacer en español. <ríe> okay, Matthew. <ríe> en este caso, eh, quitamos el Sonwan. Y 1998 sería como lo que sus, eh, reemplaza a Sonwan o es como un complemento. No, en 1998 queda siempre. El único que le he quitado es al final por quién fue hecha. No, no, movie. pero la, lo que pasa es que la, la estructura dice object más to be más ver más by subject, pero le quitamos el subject y le dejamos en 1998. Ese sería como el, lo, el sustituto del by subject o sería un no, complemento. No, no. El, el in 1988 yeah. no es parte del de agent. Este es una time expression. Time expression okay. que forma parte sí. de un complemento, pero no es parte del agent. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, entonces vamos con... Aquí voy a hacer el, ex, el example. What is the object you said? The soundtrack. Ok. The soundtrack... Was? Was writing. Forgotten. Forgotten. No. Writing. Written. ¿Cómo? Read. Re written. 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 Mm -hmm. The soundtrack was written, written by by jazz musician Tony Brown. Okay. Why? Okay. That is that is the passive yes. voice. Okay, now let us do the third one. What is the tense? What is the verb? Like. Okay. Like. It is in past or present? Present. 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 Okay. Present negative. Es una afirmación en negativo. En es pasado. Ah, uh, in past. Auxiliary yes. did is in past. Auxiliary did is in past. El verbo aquí puede aparecer. Ah, está en presente. But the auxiliary yeah. is telling me that that is in past. Entonces, yes. my passive voice será in past. In past. Okay. Past. So, I'm going to start. 
The movie. The movie. Was not Was like. Was not. Okay, was not. Like by many critics. Like. Like. Like you. Was not like. 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 Was not liked. Like. Yes. Mm -hmm. By many critics. Okay. By many critics. Teacher. Yes. El did se utiliza eh, para oraciones negativas en pasado. Yes. O positiva va. Did for, for negatives. Solo por. Y negatives. no importa el, el pronombre. No. Puede no, ser okay. many critics, puede ser they, puede ser Susana, puede ser whoever. Like the auxiliary is did. Ok, es que eso se nos había olvidado. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, now we continue with exercise four. Primer paso. What is the verb? Play. 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 What Play. is the tense? Present. Present. That is present. Entonces, nuestra voz pasiva estará en? Present. 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 Okay, let's start. This is complicated porque tiene varias maneras de cómo quererlos confundir, right? Pero tenemos que saber identificar quién es el sujeto y el más difícil de identificar es the object. Pero el object es lo que hace el sujeto, ese será el objeto. Ok. ¿Eh? In the so. musical. Uh -huh. The character. Ok. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Así es. Character. The ¿Cómo? Car character. Character. Arlene. Uh -huh. In the musical. Uh -huh. uh, it, no. Is. Ajá. Uh -huh. Play. Play. By. Uh, By free. By French. The French. The Watchers. In the musical, mm -hmm. The Watchers. No. Oh, it just me salí. ¿Qué pasó ahí? No sé qué pasó. Presioné algo que no era. By Frida French. In the music. Uh -huh. The watchers. 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 Ahí está. Así es. Right? The character. Se fijan por qué es necesario que entre todos trabajen, no que digan ahí contestémosla cada quien y después comparamos <laughs> oh my god ok next one complete ok, complete that is a verb, very good una afirmación en pasado, did not 
Ah, but it is in past. It is negative because I have the auxiliary did not. So it is in past. So my passive voice has to be in past. Okay. Let us write it. The, mm -hmm. the movie was the not movie was not, not completed on time. Completed on time. By by we. Mm, no es necesario. Que okay. no es necesario, pero si fuera necesario tendría que ser así, vea. By up, as. Uh, okay. As. Up. Okay, uh. porque esos son uh, sujetos, yeah. objetos. Okay. Uh, pronombres, uh, objetos. Okay. okay. Pero it is not relevant. Necessary. Okay, next one. Bruce Willis? No, no. No, no. Now is verb. It's verb. Okay, first it is the verb. What is the verb? Now. now. Okay, the verb is now. In the present. It is in present. Okay. It is in present. Okay. Now let us do the sentence. The object. Films. For his action file. Bruce Willis. Stop Bruce Willis is the object. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Is now. <laughs> By for his action field. For his action, action films mm -hmm. by people, no necessary. Ah, okay. Ven cómo vamos <clears throat> aprendiendo. Okay, very good. <laughs> and finally, we have the last one. Great. Okay, the verb. Great. It's in present. Okay, it is in present. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> where passive voice has to be in present. The most amazing theater. 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 Theater costumes. Was created by Pet Atwood. Customs. 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 The most was pretty customs. Was. Is. Customs. Constant is is created was created. Porque was sí tiene que ser en presente. Lo que pasa es que en presente no solo hay una opción. Are. Ah, ¿por qué? Customs. Porque está hablando en plural. Okay. Okay. Are created. 
Okay, created. By Beth. Ah, aquí sí es importante. Yes. Okay. By Beth. Atwood. 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 Y ahí todas las passive voice in present or in past. Difficult, kind of. Pero si mm. seguimos los pasos, it is easier. A yes. que solo nos vayamos a escribir y no sabemos ni qué vamos a escribir. <laughs> little by little, step by step. Right? No es lo que se nos ocurra. Hay que seguir un orden. Right? Ok. Entonces, si esto les costó, el siguiente va a ser a piece of cake for you. A piece of cake. Ya, ver, ya verán el qué. Vamos a ver. I don't know, Rick. <laughs> piece of cake. Esto es un piece of cake ya para ustedes, vean. Y lo vamos a hacer nada más verbal, ¿ok? Ok. He opens the door. The door is open by, by him. him. Aunque el him es para demostrarles cómo se utilizan los object uh, pronouns. Okay. The second the one, ¿cuál será? The, te the table. Ajá. Uh -huh. The table are. The table are. ¿Por qué are? Por, por we. Mm. We As. send. No, pero. Ahorita, quien decide es el objeto y el objeto es the table. Ah, ok. The, the table is. Ajá. I no remember send and past participle. Set. What is the past participle of set? Set. Set. Ajá. Ok, the table is set. Ajá. Bye. Para practicar, by, by para, us. By us, or, para practicar the object pronouns. By us. Us. By us. us. Right? By us. Okay, number three. She pays a lot of money. A lot of money is paid mm -hmm. by him. Is paid. By her. By her. By her. By her. By her. Okay. okay. Aquí es para practicar los subject pronouns, right? Okay. Object pronouns. Okay. I draw a picture. Día de hoy se presentó un top 10 de jugadores de la NBA. ¿Cuál es el mamífero que tiene el tipo más grande? El mamífero. A picture. Was. Si vos no le pagas al fondo, abrí el bar. Was. Mm, el verbo no lo By me. Drew. No. Draw. Is this in present or past? Past. Past. ¿Y cuál es el present? You. Dre. Drive. No, no. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. This is the present. Draw. That is the present. Okay. Draw. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> it is the present. <laughs> so the result is? Tom. Tom. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, the sentence is? Uh, a picture uh -huh. is a pic down uh -huh. by me. That's it. That's it. 
Number five. They wear blue shoes. Blue shoes. Ahorita están buscando the past participle of the verb wear. <laughs> but that is okay. That is good. That is good. Blue shoes are. Uh -huh. Blue shoes are. Warm. Uh -huh. Warm. By day. No. Or... No. Yeah. Object pronouns them. Or them. by them. 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 <laughs> Number six. They not help you. They don't help you. You. Uh -huh. Vamos, you can do it. Es lo mismo que las demás, solo que ahí el auxiliar, como es negativo, tiene que aparecer el auxiliar. Pero qué tiempo. You were, not, you were not helped by them. No. ¿En qué tiempo está la oración? Present. Ajá, entonces. Okay. Uh, sorry, a deal. You. Come on, come on. Después el, 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 el object, ¿qué va? You, verbo to be. You, uh -huh. you are. Ajá. Uh -huh. You are. are not. Ajá. Uh -huh. You are not helped. That's by, it. By, by them. By them. By, by you them. Are not, you're not helped by them. Very, Very good. Number seven. The book uh -huh. is not is uh -huh. not uh -huh. is open. not open news. Open. Uh -huh. by, by his, his by him. 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 him him him. Y la última. The letter. Uh -huh. Is not. Uh -huh. Write it. Written. 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 Written by by you. By you. Ahí se mantiene you. By mm -hmm. you. Very good, very good, guys. You did it, okay? You did it. Entonces, solo va a quedar que ustedes, um, déjenme ver, ¿a dónde está esto? Déjenme Time's ver. over. Yes, I know, but I need to tell you this. Solo les va a quedar hacer esto, chicos. Entrar a la tarea 1, a la tarea 5 de la plataforma. That is this. Y como todo, no, esa no es esa, es esta. Todo está relacionado a passive voice. It says, we use the passive where we don't want or need the specific who or did the actions. We use the verb to be. We have five. Si pueden. Terminamos la clase y lo hacen porque después se van a desconectar and then you're not going to do it. Hmm. You are not going to do it. 
y lo que se van a tardar es maybe one minute, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. you sure. better do it. And in this moment, the attendance. Pero do this exercise. This is evaluation for the unit, right? Right. Okay. Now let's see the last time for the attendance. Again, insisto, abran sus cámaras. Ok. Hoy vamos de abajo hacia arriba por la desesperación. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza. Aliados internacionales. Ok. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present teacher. Valeria Michelle Monge. Rosa Esther Rivera. René Alexi Caballero. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay. Pineda. Moisés Elías Torres. Present teacher. Maximiliano Adonai Flores. Present teacher. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. María René Jovel. Present. Lucía Verónica Nerio Bar ba Márquez. Present teacher. Kevin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Genia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Genia Lizeth Barrera Hernández. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present, teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present teacher. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Elsa mm -hmm. Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Alma Brendalí Nieto. Elías. Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántana. Ok, guys. So... That's all for today. Thank you very much for participating. Y esperamos que hayan quedado claras las dudas del passive voice. Okay. Complete evaluation, please. And see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless you. So do you. Teacher. Yes. Una consulta eh, en, la, en la tarea 4. No logro contestar la segunda pregunta. Siempre me da error, no sé por qué. En la 4. Sí, la tarea 4. Déjeme ver. Vamos a ver. Veamos. If you are a leader, you show. ¿Qué le ha puesto? Le he puesto puntuality. La número, no, pero ¿cuál ejercicio? ¿El cuatro? No, el dos. El dos. No. Oh, yes, puntuality, pero acuérdese de poner la C. ¿A ah, dónde? Punctual. Vea cómo se escribe Después punctual. Después de la N. Después de la N va una C. Punctuality. Oh. Ah, eh. Gracias. Okay. Le he probado de mil formas y no, no me da. ¿Pero ahora sí? Sí, ahora sí. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay. So, good night. Good night.